Hi everyone, it's Tristan. In this episode, I'll talk about uh, something that's new to the project. Uh, so basically, I've lately I've updated a lot of the project. Oh, and by the way, everyone, while I'm making this video, while I'm rendering it, basically, I just figured it out that yeah, you can you can join the, the Discord in the description right here. That's the LeafStack Discord server. If you want to join it, you can. Uh, that's where you're gonna get up to date. Well, basically, stay up to date with all the new updates, basically of the library, everything that's gonna change, all the ma major changes, and where you can receive the notifications if you want to react to that. That's gonna get changed for buttons. I don't know why. I kind of forgot that we could add buttons on Discord. Anyway, so I've added reactions, but yeah, that's gonna get changed for buttons, and that's go also gonna get covered in the video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, back to the video. We are on our own version 0.3.5. In, and the first videos I've made onto um, Easy Commands were on version 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, but now that's like the biggest version. As you can see right here, that's the example main class setup. So you can find this in the README onto the GitHub repo. So the main class setup has changed a lot. Uh, right now you can register the listeners all in one place, just like that, just one function. You can enable the music bot. Uh, you can add the executors right here. Now the help come in. Now this is it, the easy commands variable to get passed through it. That's pretty much it though for the main class. I've removed a lot of boilerplate code. That's uh, mostly what I've done. Because uh, back then you used to update commands every time you used to do log executors, log this, log that. Now that has been removed. That's getting done automatically. Also, if you go a bit down here, well, back then you used to, to need to download the release, basically a jar right here. I've said to y'all to download the jar. Now that's not a thing anymore. Uh, if you want it, if you want to get project pretty easily, you can just go right here to download tag in the readme. And um, you just need to grab the repository. Let me open a project, for example. So you just paste the repository in your palm.xml. As you can see, I don't have any other dependencies. I only have mine, basically. And then you just need to grab the dependency, just like that. You paste it inside of the dependencies block. And then you just change version to whatever version is going to be the latest. Uh, to see what's the latest version, uh, you can come right here. Yeah, as you can see, the latest version right now would be 0 0.3.5. And if you click on that, also, you can check all the latest releases. If you check release right here, just say get it for the latest one. As you can see, it's going to tell you to do it like that. You can put a V in front of it. Uh, it's not, you don't need to, you, you can do whatever. You can do both with a V uh, for version of where the V that, that will work. As you can see, if I reload the project, it will work. And right here, it says that it's got vulnerability, uh, vulnerabilities issues. Anyways, uh, that's because we're using Lava Player. If y'all remember, uh, Lava Player has vulnerabilities issues. So if, for example, if I open this right here, that's yeah, if I open the easy commands, uh, pound XML, that's where it comes from. It's right here. Not that has vulnerabilities. And that sucks a lot. I mean, we need to do with it because uh, we've got, you know, the music bot. And if I don't add this, well, the music bot won't work. So that's why we've got vulnerabilities right now. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. I hope now in the future this won't change. I hope it will stay like that. No, it should stay like that now. So as it is for now, for all the other videos that you're going to watch, everything is just going to be that easy. Just put the new dependency that I'm going to say in the video. Well, the new version, basically, of the dependency. Uh, the artifact ID and the group ID will just stay the same. It's really just a version that's going to change. That would be pretty much it. So now it's pretty easy. As you can see, it imports um, all in one. It's like all in one package. It imports uh, GDA and it will also import uh, MySQL. So right here, you will be able to do a MySQL connect. Uh, you will be also able to have Lava Player imported just all in one dependency block. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. And uh, the next video should come out today explaining all the changes that have been brought to the project. In that video, maybe that's gonna be on version 0.4 now on that, that later video. But anyways, you'll, you'll just see that in that video. And as I said, if you want to just stay up to date with versions, you can just go inside right here and on the GitHub repo. And right here, that's going to be the latest version right here. You don't even need to go on Jetpack. Just look at the version right here, replace release for that. That's it. So have a good one, everyone. We'll see us in the next video.